talk about traditional mentorship relationships. We're talking about someone who's mid to late career professional, mentoring someone who's early in their career. And we're talking about uh, reverse mentorship is the worst. But we're also talking about someone who, even though they're in their early stage of their career, has life experience that they can bring to the table and help bring new perspectives and new thoughts, new ways of thinking to reverse mentee. So why is reverse mentorship such a cool thing? Why do I love reverse mentorship so much? It's a really cool dynamic for personal growth. I think the biggest value I get out of it is that I get to evolve my way of thinking, which changes the way I act and behave. I want to go back to my PhD student who's from Jamaica. I, I will never know what it's like to grow up in her shoes. But when we have our weekly sit down and we talk for a couple of hours and she tells me her experiences moving here to Norway, she gives me a vantage that I would never be able to possess on my own. And she helps me understand a little bit more about the culture that I live in. She helps me understand about the world that I live in and what how my experiences so radically differ from hers. And I think that's a real benefit to me personally because I get to change really who I am. I get to change my entire identity because it helps me see things through a, a different viewpoint and a different lens. If you're thinking about becoming a reverse mentor or you're thinking about whether or not you want to have a reverse mentor, I think that's one of the biggest things you can do. A real easy, concrete way of making that happen is just to find somebody in your life who you can build a relationship with who has a very different background than you do, who has a very different life experience than you do. That's going to bring more value into your life than a lot of times somebody who's way more professionally advanced than you are would. I always tell that I can help her navigate her career to the extent that my experience is useful to her. But there are going to be a lot of things that she faces that I'm going to be blind to because I've never had to face those things. I don't know what it's like to be a woman in a career field that's dominated by men. And I'll never know the kinds of tools, the tricks, the ways of working that can help her navigate that. And so when we first started working together, I encouraged her, we need to find you another supervisor who can speak to these challenges. And so we found her another woman at my university who can help her navigate those experiences. Now there's still the issue of race that she'll have to contend with because we weren't able to connect her with another woman of color, but it's at least some Thing more than what I could give her. Whenever you're looking for a reverse mentor or you're looking for a mentee, I would always say to try to find someone who has a very different background or experience than you do. There's so much to be gained out of building those relationships.